Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Well today, I'm outside of Flagstaff, Arizona. What am I doing here? Well, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. <laughs> I got a story to tell you. Sit back, let me jibber jabber a little bit. Well, I had this idea. And let me tell you, just just a way to earn a little extra money on the road, have a little fun doing it. When I got the trailer hitch, When I got the trailer hitch put on my uh, ProMaster and I got that storage box put uh, I put it on I got to thinking and, and I've done some of buying and selling a few things on the road if I see a good deal pick it up flip it make a few extra bucks and when I got the ProMaster and I got the hitch on it I got this idea that well I'll pick up a couple little trailers RVs if I find a good price on one whatever area I'm in just go online scour the area see if I can find a good deal find a good deal buy it do a little work to it and resell it well that's how all this craziness started well <laughs> I found this really good deal on a motorhome and How can I say this? I was very happy in my ProMaster van conversion to RV. RV van conversion. It's very happy. It's nice driving a new vehicle. Um, yeah, it was close. It, 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 there were moments where it was kind of tight. And... Uh, but me and the babies, we worked through it, and we, we were not suffering in the least bit. So I found a 2004 motorhome with 45,000 miles on it. New tires. Hadn't been sitting. It had been on the highway for the last couple years. And uh, price was good on it. Wasn't exactly what I was, exactly a, a small trailer or whatever, but... Uh, I thought I'd, I thought I'd go take a look at it. Curiosity had the better of me, and uh, everybody, I, I, I ended up buying it. I spent about, gosh, I spent hours and hours going over this thing, making sure that it was in good shape and didn't need anything much. And the more I looked at it, the more I liked it. Um, this is not my first Class A motorhome. My first Class A I had 15 years ago was a Bounder, 95 or 96, I think it was a 34 footer. Um, this one is not a Fleetwood. This one's made by Coachman. All right, let me be very, very clear about something. I am not trying to copy anybody in any shape, form, or fashion, okay? Now, one of the last videos you saw was uh, Eric, and uh, we, we were all at Government Wash, and I, I was talking about how nice his Coachman Murata was. Never in a million years did I think I'd uh, own one, too. But that's exactly, <laughs> that's exactly what's happened. Uh, I, you know what? I hesitated for about 15 seconds. I was like, no. Eric's got one. And what will people say? Well, you know, I don't care what people say. I don't I don't I don't fight small fights with small minded people. So it was too good an RV, at too good a price, in too good a condition, and I bought it. I put these babies in here and they, they played and they played and they played for till they just run themselves out. They just all fell over. I don't think any of us realized just 
how little room we did have for all of us. But we made it work and we were happy. We didn't know no better. But now we got a lot more room. Now this RV, I've only had it for a day or so. It's not ready for prime time uh, viewing. You wouldn't believe the stuff I had in that van that I had to throw, that I just literally just threw in here. Uh, that little van was packed. And uh, it, it's taken me a minute to get everything in here. And it's not all straightened up like I want. And I kind of hesitate to show you what I'm showing you, but I'm going to. Um, 45,000 miles. Generator had less than 200 hours on it. Tires had less than... 5,000, 6,000 miles on them, and they were put on last year. Um, it's very similar condition to my 2003 BT Cruiser. I mean, I'd, I'd say it's just about even, best I can tell. Now, uh, I took it to the mechanic, and I had them change all the fluids in it. Transmission fluid, oil, fuel filter, check rear axle seals everything and then I went back and then I went back today and uh, those stainless steel braided airlines I got them suckers off of here um, they have put me on the side of the road with flats two or three times now I refuse to run them but they had these new kind of uh, stems that I can still reach through the uh the hole in the wheel and get an air chuck on it and air it up okay y'all tired of looking at me i know you want to see parts of the rv so here we go i, I may just take pictures because i i mean it, it's 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 pretty good i just kind of got a little bit of a mess and i don't want people to see my mess but i've been working on it so here's a few pictures And here's here's a few uh, here's a video clip or two of the uh, all of us in here and it's snowing like snowing like crazy. Man, it's snowing! I love snow. Do you like the snow? I like the snow. Martini, do you like snow? I like chicken and rice better than snow. Okay, baby. Don't leave any. Get it all. Don't leave any for Tucker and May May. Baby May May. I wasn't, Daddy. I was going to eat it all, every bit. Okay. Oh, I forgot to tell you, it already has solar installed, and uh, I found uh, I found a, a bar that lifts up the solar panel. It's a tilt a tilt bar, and it's got uh, Wild Bill solar from uh, Quartzite. So I believe Wild Bill put all this solar in this uh, in this RV. I believe it's got from the looks of the panel. I believe it's like a 250 watt panel. And it's got a 3,000 watt inverter over here by my uh, left legs uh, on the on the driver's side, in front, beside the driver's chair, and uh, 200 amp hours of battery underneath the hood. Um, the batteries were removed from the steps and put over there. And so far, I've had enough for my CPAP and everything to last through the night.
So I got all my personal effects and pictures out of my van. Got a lot of them here over the door, beside the driver's seat, back in the bedroom. Everything works. Furnace works, refrigerator works, generator fires up, runs good. Oil was clean as didn't even need changing when I got it. Um, mechanics, they spent about three, four hours under it. And, uh, well, it was there in the back three or four hours, and I was in the waiting room. Uh, and the guy come out, and he said this was a very well-maintained coach. So I got a very well-maintained coach at a great price. It does need a few little things, as to be expected. Very, very minor, and things I'm going to be fixing here soon. But, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the pictures. Stay tuned. Um... I am going to sell the ProMaster. I have it in storage. It's cleaned out. Uh, I've been working on uh, the box that's not finished covered. I put uh, those black rubber tiles on the top of the uh, battery box and everything. I got some more glue. I'm going to re-glue the carpet and I got another piece of carpet to go around this uh, plywood face. Take care of all that. Um, I have not decided what I'm going to ask for the van, but if you are interested, please email me at campervankevin at AOL.com. Um, I'd like to get what I've got in it back. I've already done all the hard work. I've done all the leg work. I've got all the right people together and some that wasn't, but I got all their work fixed. So that uh, camper van, that ProMaster camper van, I thought I'd have it for, for a long time. I didn't, I didn't see this coming. But it is for sale. And once I tally up what I've got in it, that's what I'm going to sell it for. Okay. That's the end of this video. I'm going to end it right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. If you like my video, please give me the thumbs up not subscribed please subscribe I'm getting really really close to 10 million views and 50,000 subscribers by the end of May but uh, all right I gotta go see you next time bye bye